Um, our speaker is Amir Haji, and uh, we have more intelligent clothing. It's uh, Amir. It's it's the floor is yours. Yeah. Thanks, Alfred. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Amir Haji, and I'm uh, a fifth year PhD candidate with University of California Irvine. And uh, thanks for having me today. I'm going to talk about our core research, which is basically focused on um, connecting different sensors across the human body through a body area network and how we are um, integrating them into the clothing that enables power and can power and data transmission through all these sensors. So uh, I would like to start with uh, an idea of uh, what is a body area network and what features should it uh, exhibit in order to succeed in terms of those applications. It should obviously be a low cost, integrable uh, platform in a meaning that uh, when we have different, uh, for example, let's say motion sensors across the body, we have to be able to uh, merge them into the clothing uh, as a Steven said. And um, what's very important is that these sensors have to be compatible with the electronics that the end user will have. So for example, they have to be Bluetooth uh, enabled or uh, compatible with Wi-Fi or any other wireless solution that can integrate them into a controller hub, such as a smartphone. And uh, they obviously have to be secure because we don't really want a third party listener to listen to the communication between these devices. But something that's very important is that um, when we're using these sensors, um, we are tied to use uh, batteries with limited life, uh, lifetime and uh, charging cycles. So what's an idea, how can we um, improve uh, the life expectancy of the batteries or maybe get rid of them? So uh, throughout the, um, this talk, I'm going to uh, focus on the solutions that uh, we propose to um, mitigate those areas. So the sensor area networks are traditionally connected by wires. So uh, we can provide power pretty reliably to them, but it's not comfortable for the end user. No one's gonna wear a clothing that's using wires with different connections that's not gonna endure different environments such as uh, moisture or underwater sometimes, and it's pretty hard to maintain and wash those clothes. But there are over the air or wireless solutions as well, like uh, the cellular, the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, custom RFID devices, and NFC. However, the issue with almost all of these standards that are already incorporated in all these smartphones is that uh, these basically do not provide wireless power so the sensors are all relying on battery power. There is only one exception to that, and that's the near field communication. And based on the nature of this, uh, we're always sending a waveform to a uh, device in proximity of a controller, and then we modulate the information back to the same uh, waveform, and we can get the wireless power. However, the issue with it is that it suffers from a pretty short range. So. Uh, what we want to present today is uh, a core physical technology that we developed in UC Irvine, and it's based on magneto-inductive metal materials. And uh, you can think of them as uh, smart patches in which uh, uh, we actually have uh, um, a multi-turn loop uh, that uh, can be integrated on top of the clothing. So on the top left, uh, you see that uh, we have a multi-turn loop uh, followed by a ground layer, and you can see the picture of it with a um, UCI logo uh, top ceiling on it, and we can easily integrate it on the clothing. And these are all discrete resonators that form a chain, and they are magnetically coupled to each other. That means we can uh, exhibit a passband across this network. What it means is that on the right side, if you have an NFC compatible electronic, which is like, for example, your smartphone, uh, if that's close to this network, which is this chain of resonators, and you have these sensors across your body, and the sensors do not uh, use batteries, uh, your cell phone can provide battery power to these sensors. And 
these are some um, some of the uh, demonstration in terms of how the 